So suppose we are given this probability table. So here, right, the sample space of x is basically 1 and 2. The sample space of y is 3 and 4. The sample space of the whole thing will be the Cartesian product of big x and big y. Now, whenever we see this kind of table, the first thing to do is marginal probability. So this half is basically 2 over 6 plus 1 over 6. Okay, so this px is 1 is 2 over 6 plus 2 over 6. That is 4 over 6. That means 2 over 3. Then what will be this guy? By complementary rule, we know it will be 1 over 3. So x, y independent if and only if p, x, x, y, y equal to p, x, x, p, y, y. And for what? For all x in sample space x, for all y in sample space y or in short, for all x, y in omega. Remember, this is the definition, okay, definition. So if the join can be split into product of marginal, then they are independent. So that means we are going to check, is this true for all the possible x, y? So is p x equal to one, y equal to three, equal, this is question mark, to p x is one, okay, and p y is three, so from this one, we know PY for 3 is half, so this is half, okay? From here, we know PX1 is 2 over 3, so we know 2 over 3. Okay, so it will be what? It will be 1 third. Now we want to find this thing, okay? What is this thing? This thing is X1, Y3, so it's this thing. X1, Y3 is 2 over 6. 2 over 6 is what? 1 third. Okay, this one is yes. This one is yes. Okay, this one is yes. Check the other one. So we need to check is px1 y4 the same as px1 times py4. So x1 y4 that means this 2 over 6. So 2 over 6 is 2 over 6 that means 1 third. Same as this thing. What's px1? 2 third. What's py4? py4. Half. Okay. So after simplification, this cancel out with this one, you get one third. Okay, this is true. Good. Then what's next? We need to check the x2 case. Okay, so dx equal to 2, y equal to 3. x2, y3, this one. So 1 over 6. 1 over 6. Is it equal to x2, y3? Okay, x is 2, this one. Okay, x is 2, this one. One third, okay. One third. Now we want py3. py3 is this one. One half. Yes. So this is yes. Lastly, last guy. So x2, y4. x2, y4. This one. One over six. Okay. px2 is this number. So one third. And then y4. This one. Half. Yes, this is true. So therefore, for all the four cases, this is true. And if this is true for all the cases, then x, y are independent. So in this particular cases, x, y are independent.